Everybody's free to feel good. Everybody's free to feel good. Well, I am delighted to have with us this afternoon uh, the gorgeous Rosala from uh, Everybody's Free Fame. How are you doing? You're right. Fine, thank you. So um, I need to ask you, how did it all start? You know, how did you get into the business? Did you, have you always wanted to be a singer? Always wanted to be a singer all my life. Yeah. Um, I was born in Zambia, grew up in Zimbabwe. Uh, in Zambia, I did so many different children's television programs okay. and stuff like that. I used to tell my parents that that's all I want to do is to become a singer. And then we moved to Zimbabwe and uh, joined talent contests and um, won a, a recording contract with one of the contests and then basically it started from there okay. I became the uh, starlet in Zimbabwe you know and yeah. I, I felt there was only so far I could go then I wanted to break it internationally and uh, fortunately I had some producers that were in Zimbabwe on holiday and saw my videos on TV and were like yeah we've got a studio in the UK why don't you come up and try something and when I came to the UK I, I recorded an album actually that was only released in the southern part of Africa okay. and uh, we sent those songs to different various record labels trying to get me a record deal and you'd get letters saying yeah we like you but yeah. you know a lot of rejection yeah. um, and some of them were like yeah we're gonna sign you that's great and then days or weeks later no sorry we can't it yeah just just a lot of, of that you know what, what age would you have been about at, at this point um, I was in my early 20s no, when okay. I came uh, to the UK um, yeah. Uh, Tim and Nigel, who were the band of Gypsies, heard my voice and said, we got the perfect songs for you. Yeah. I wanted to do up-tempo dance tracks that had positive lyrics. Yeah. And that's weird, what we achieved, hopefully, on the Everybody's Free to Feel Good yeah. album. And Pulsate Records then came after, loved it, signed it. and yeah. I mean, Everybody's Free was obviously a massive hit for you, but you've had other hits as well, haven't you? Yeah, I've, I've had it. To fly I get totally thrown when people say, Oh, I really like that song of yours, uh, Never Love the Same Way Twice. What? Because it's usually everybody's free. Yeah. But there's uh, been um, Faith in the Power of Love. That oh, was, that was I love that track. Thank you. Yeah. That went to 11 in the yeah. UK. Yeah. There was Are You Ready to Fly, yeah. which is a massive hit again for me across Europe. Yeah. Um, there was Never Love the Same Way Twice. This time I found Love, Baby. I Love Music, yeah. which I did, uh, yeah. it, the OJ's original track, yeah. which I did for Carlito's Way. Yeah. And I happened to meet uh, Al Pacino and have a dance with him. Oh, really? And, uh, Mother and sister together will make it through. Someday spirit will lift you and take you there. I, the last time I saw you, I, ca I came to see you at Wembley Stadium. Oh, gosh. <laughs> um, and, and it was, li it was literally, I think you, you, you were on with um, Criss Cross, I think, yeah. or, or as well, do, yes. uh, supporting Michael Jackson yes, on yes. his Dangerous Tour. Yeah. Well, it was, you know, being on that tour has been and will always be the biggest highlight of my career. It must have been You amazing. know, um, I just signed to Sony and Michael Jackson um, asked the label, I want a dance artist that's really massive in Europe right now. Yeah. And at the time, I had Everybody's Free, yeah. Are You Ready to Fly, yeah. Faith in the Power of Love. And uh, they sent him my videos yeah. um, and various other artists that were on the label. And he personally chose me. Yeah. And I'll be eternally, thank you, Michael, <laughs> grateful yeah. to him for that. Do you eternally still love grateful. it? Or do, does it become a chore sometimes? I absolutely love it because yeah. there was a period when I went through when, you know, when the boy bands and the girl bands were happening. Yeah. I was lucky if I got one club date in two months. Oh, yeah. It just sort of started dying down. And I thought, is this the end of my career? Sony dropped me from the label. Yeah. Um, and I just thought, maybe this is the end, you know? And, and it was quite scary because yeah. that's how I earn my living. Yeah. So I thought, should I go back to college and become a secretary? <laughs> <laughs> Which is not a bad thing because I did it before. Yeah. But um, all these things went on through my mind. and. And so, mentioning that, when the club, they started coming back again. I seemed I got back in favor with people. They sort of wanted to carry on working with me. I've been so much more grateful ever since then. Yeah. And I just, you know, make hay when the sun shines. I grab it and, and I make the best of it. Yeah. So, anyway, meanwhile, really? get some rest. Thank you so um, much. We'll see you Thank a little you. bit later on. Before we go, are you going to come and dance with me on stage? I might just do that. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> 
I saw his twinkle in his eye. That's why I had to ask. Oh, I'd love it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you I so not, much. I might not look like oh, this. Oh, don't so. worry, darling. Please, whatever. <laughs> yeah, as long as you're there, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. All right. Thank you for talking Thank to you. us today. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. It. Thank ah. you. Everybody's free.